One of the most valuable resources on our planet is also a finite thing that we take for granted. Out of all of the planet's water, only 2.5% is fresh water. And of that 2.5%, only 1% isn't frozen or groundwater, making fresh flowing water the most indispensable resource that we have. Where there is water, there is life. Yet lively California has always had to fight for water. For the next decade, California may spend $130 million annually just to ensure that Californians in vulnerable districts have water. Before March 2019, California was in a drought for over seven years. During drought years, California allocates 61% of its water for agricultural usage. 25% is allocated to environmental usage and 11% for urban. With California's booming population of 39.56 million and growing, it is critical for the state to balance these usages, which is why California has the largest water system in all of the United States. In fact, Southern California receives 75% of its water from Northern California and the other 25% from the Colorado River. For over 100 years, the Colorado River was the main source of water to maintain the Salton Sea's water level. Yet with long periods of drought and high urban and agricultural demand, all the water that Southern California receives from the Colorado River now flows straight to LA County and San Diego County. California's Salton Sea, located in the Imperial Coachella Valley, is a saline lake formed on the Salton Sea, a geographical depression, with no outflow to rivers or oceans. This region is a part of the Colorado Desert, receiving only three inches of precipitation annually, and a yearly average temperature of nearly 88 degrees Fahrenheit. The combination of high temperatures and low precipitation causes one-seventh of the sea's total water to evaporate every single year. The Salton Sea receives a minimal inflow from the surrounding areas, and as a result, has been rapidly shrinking, causing salinity to continuously rise. Water is a scarce resource for the Salton Sea, and it desperately needs it. The Salton Sea's predominant source of water comes from the agricultural runoff from the Imperial Valley and Mexicali. This source of water is limited and highly concentrated with fertilizers and other contaminants. In 1922, an agreement was made between nine states which allocated water rights in the Colorado River Basin, called the Colorado River Compact. The basin was divided into an upper and lower division, with the lower division consisting of Nevada, Arizona, and California. Of the water allocated to California, over three quarters goes to the Imperial Irrigation District, or the IID. The water is transferred from the Colorado River to the IID via the All-American Canal and is used for farm, municipal, and industrial use. Runoff and other small amounts of water that are able to reach the Salton Sea have recently been found to be contaminated at levels nearly 800 times the federal levels tested for bacteria. The lack of incoming quality water combined with high evaporation levels is causing the detrital food chain to turn into a brightened food chain, which kills the fauna within the current ecosystem. Since the Salton Sea is a critical stop along the Pacific Flyway, the death of prey creates a cascade through the food chain. Both die-off and agricultural pollutants create a toxic sediment. As Playa is exposed, toxic dust is stirred up into the air by wind and breathed by regional workers and residents. Poor air pollution has created severe health issues, and with a lack of political action, social issues and tensions continue to rise. This chain of event exposes the lack of quality water as the proprietor of all these issues related to the Salton Sea. As water continues to be diverted from the Colorado River for urban and agricultural use, and as droughts continue to worsen, less and less water flows into the sea. These conditions cause water levels to drastically decline, and salinity concentrations to increase. A critical shift is needed for how water is mitigated. The Salton Sea has no social or political power due to the wealth structure. Therefore, it's least likely to get water when competing against major southern cities. In 2007, California was set to restore the environmental health of the Salton Sea, but so far, the state legislature has not funded this plan. The Quantification Settlement Agreement defines the rights of the water from the Colorado River into four water districts in Southern California. 
It also supplied the water transfer between the Imperial Valley and San Diego for 35 years, the largest agricultural to urban water transfers in the United States. It is feared that while attempting to maintain sufficient water for agricultural and urban demand, the QSA will provide little water to the Salton Sea, leaving it largely to evaporate during drought conditions. As California's agriculture and urban cities fight for water, they continue to push environmental needs to the side. Therefore, it's up to human demands to commit to using less water, leaving more towards conserving the natural habitats that are critical for our ecosystems and ultimately for our survival. Now we have to take some time to imagine how much worse these issues that we've spoken on can become if we continue to do nothing. The impact of the salinity increase was apparent in a 2006 research by the Pacific Institute, which predicted that by 2018, tilapia fish in the Salton Sea would cease to exist due to unlivable conditions. As of today, there are no more mass fish die-offs because there are no fish left to die. A 2019 Desert Sun article stated, the tilapia fish are all but gone, and so are millions of migratory birds that fed on them. By 2028, the dusty and toxic shoreline will have receded four miles, that's over 70 football fields, from its 2003 levels. We continue to hit these horrible predictions right on time, and even surpass them. Economically speaking, if nothing is done, there's a predicted $70 billion worth of damages to human health, the ecosystem, property values, and tourist economies over the next 30 years, just in the Salton Sea region alone. Without action, shorelines will continue to recede, salinity will rise, and migratory birds will continue to vanish. These worsening water issues are not isolated incidents and they will affect many other facets of the Salton Sea ecosystem and the area surrounding it. Ignoring this issue is not an option. Water is a quintessential aspect of life, which makes this a life or death issue. Fortunately, not all hope is lost for this situation. Projects, proposals, and group efforts have been implemented and continue to be pushed to restore the Salton Sea. The most important thing to keep in mind is that action is needed. It is not optional. There is no ignoring the water issues that face the Salton Sea without suffering great consequences. These issues not only affect the Salton Sea's ecosystem, they have a domino effect across the entire Pacific Flyway if they're not solved. Water issues are complicated. They are wrapped in political and classist tape. To be ignorant on water issues because they do not directly affect us on an individual level does a disservice to all of us as a society.